Our next community conversation, we are joined by Denny King, volunteer at the center. Hey, Steve and Denny. All right, Dryden, thank you. Denny, I know you have a, certainly a longtime connection with the community and volunteering, as we both know, a big part of what makes our community as great as it is. It's just, um, and where I volunteer at the center, mm -hmm. first of all, thank you for having me today, Steve. Um, it, it's an absolute treasure to our community. Uh, you know, where the center originally started over on Pepsi right. Place and uh, um, got too big for its britches. It there, got right? too big for its britches. <laughs> it sure did. And this new center is just marvelous. Um, I started volunteering there a short time ago, actually. Um, and Peter Thompson, who has has headed that great organization, uh, kept nudging me, Denny, you have to join. You have to join. You have to join. And I went beyond that and and I started to volunteer. Of course, the center now over in the Belvedere neighborhood in Albemarle County off Rio Road. Um, you mentioned the kind of nudge you got. Um, what was the impetus to starting there besides that little, uh, that little inquiry? I, I think how much I enjoy being with the human race, <laughs> uh, interacting with people. And uh, so they, uh, my volunteer spot uh, is aptly entitled Lobby Ambassador. So I meet and greet and uh, say goodbye to everyone. You're the and first and last in I'm, I'm, get, right? I'm, I'm the first and last. That's right, Steve. Um, we talk often with people in from the center about uh, healthy aging and how important that can be for all of us. Um, what are the, some of the benefits you have found even in your short time when it comes to volunteering? I, I, I think what you just mentioned, um, being healthy, um, you know, you can, there are, <laughs> I've seen people in their in their late 80s taking tap dancing classes, um, and you know there it's very inspiring. I'm inspired every day when I'm at the center uh, by those older than me, and I didn't realize that there were that many in Charlottesville older than me. <laughs> <laughs> we met, you mentioned it, people in their 80s. I mean, we've had someone in studio to talk about instructing physical fitness who's in his early 90s. Uh, that's right. I, I, I know for, Pete very well. Yeah. And I, I mean, how can you not be motivated by someone like that? Uh, it's just a pleasure. And you know, there was a, a, a recent article written by our Surgeon General on isolation and loneliness. And, and he compared it to smoking 15 cigarettes a day, um, how it impacts one's life, um, isolation and loneliness. That's very real. Yes, it is very real. And, and, and I think that's one of the remarkable things about the center. Um, it, it's, uh, it, it's just an interaction always of others and you know you don't have to be 70 or 80 or 90 years old right. to come to the center i mean there are 150 different programs offered there weekly and um, uh, um it's just amazing well, hard to it, be hard to be lonely when you're surrounded by that many great people. you're absolutely <laughs> right that's well spoken steve denny appreciate it as always continued enjoyment over at the center thank you so much right, dryden thank you